Hey guys, welcome to Excel Tutorial Channel again, and another episode of Round Function of Formulas in Excel. So in this video, we are going to learn another function which is called M Round Function in Excel. So M Round Function returns the number rounded to a given multiple or desired multiple, which you will enter in your argument. So we have covered various round functions, and in this video, we are going to cover round with multiple so if you haven't subscribed to this channel please do it because we are covering each and every functionality of excel in upcoming days months or years so without further ado let's get started so here we have a very simple sheet and if you want to practice it with us then you can just click the link in the description bar which is the first link and it will redirect to our website and under the video you will find a download link so here we have a demo sheet we have a numbers we have some blank columns here which we need to fill so what is m round function m round function returns the number rounded to a given multiple and it will round a number up or down depending on the nearest multiple you will mention in your argument just type mr and it will revert back a function here and if you mouse over it it will give you the description of this function which says the returns the number rounded to the desired multiple just click tab and it will open a function so it has two arguments mainly first will be the number and second will be the multiple so in the first example we are going to find the multiple of 10 using these numbers here so how are we going to do that we just for the first argument we need to select the number number is this and second is multiple so in the first example we are going to find the multiple of 10 just click enter so don't get excited about this particular error let me just apply to all so it's revert back us an answer of a positive number but don't revert back us of negative number that was the intention to give you the difference where it works and where it not it doesn't mean it doesn't work on the negative number but you have to specify that negative here so if you specify the negative here so it will just round down to a next multiple there you go and there you go so it will give you the nearest multiple which is 50 and also the 50 for this so that's why you need to mention the negative number in your worksheet or you can say a formula to get your answer of the negative values or you can also use the ifs function and you can define your logical explanation in each of its arguments so if you want to learn the ifs function you can browse through our videos so that's the first scenario where you find the nearest multiple and in the same way next part will be your do it yourself part diy you have to pause the video now and find the nearest five if you are practicing with us then you have to pause the video right now and find this nearest five multiple of these numbers okay just pause it video and do it yourself okay so let's just i hope you have done with your calculations so let's just find the nearest five multiple it's also very straightforward just type the m around here and first you need to select the number and for the multiple you need to select five here just close it down so I know it will give you an error and to first let me just apply to all and to resolve this error you need to mention minus here just like that you will find your answer and there you go so you got your nearest five or five multiple in your worksheet of these set of numbers so now in the next part here is interesting if you have a store or something like a shop and if you have something prices like this and you want to fix to the nearest or you can say the minus 99 like you have a 99 dollar dollars store right just like that here we have a pricing of 64.89 and 9.18 and i want to round it to the next 0.99 okay so i just want it to be 64.99 and want this to be 9.99 and something like that so how are you gonna do that first you can use the m round function so for the m round function there you go so as we know it just round down to a next given multiple or desired multiple you have mentioned just click on this and for the multiple part we just need of one multiple so it will be one here so let's just find out what answer it gives so it gives us 65 here and if we apply to all so it just give us the 9 here 199 here and 89 and 79 so 
that's what we wanted right so now for the 9.99 part or you can say the round to nearest 99 part we need to deduct 0 0.01 to get our desired result right there we go so we got our answer which is 64.99 and if we apply to all so we get our all answers which is 64.9 but here's the limitation you must have recognized by now that here we have a 9.18 so we wanted a 9.99 but here we got a 9.8.99 so here either increase your price like this 5 point above 0.5 so it will revert back us our desired outcome so hope you understand the limitation of this while calculating such calculations all right same way here we have 89.12 we wanted a 89.99 but it reverted back us 88.99 so to resolve that either you have to r change the value of like this right or you can add a number here like plus 0.99 so hope you understand the limitation of this particular function when you're dealing with such type of number or such type of calculations so we are moving towards the date or time part for this function now we are going to round these timings to the nearest 15 minutes yes you can also play with the time using this particular function so we have covered the number nearest multiple and we have also covered with the price points here and now we are going towards the time part so how we can do that if you want to find the nearest 15 minutes then i know you are smart enough to do that by yourself but let me just explain it so we have a m round here first will be the number here and to find the nearest multiple or you can say nearest 15 minutes we have to specify that in quote unquote in this argument there you go just unquote it close the parenthesis so you will get this though so don't worry you will fix that in upcoming minutes so when we right click on this as we have got the answer you need to go to the time so there you get your time here and click ok so there you go you have found your nearest 15 minutes so it 10 minutes is in 8 15 and so on so hope you understand how you can round your time to the nearest 15 minutes please be assured that that these numbers should be in the time format if you check it just right click on it format cell yes they are in the time format here so hope you understand how to use m round function to find the nearest multiple and some practical example which we have covered in this video so if you have learned something from this video click the thumbs up button and if you want to learn more about round function and other functions then you should subscribe to this channel and if you want to share this video to your friends colleague or social media handle then share button is for you see you in the next video until then bye bye